G'day, I'm Jake from Make Science Fun. Thanks for joining me today. Here we are in the Australian bush doing a bit of science. Have you ever wondered how a drinking bird works? Look, he's thirsty, he's rocking, the liquid's going up the tube, he's getting thirsty, he's getting, and look, he's drinking the water. Oh, there he goes, and now he's rocking again. He's getting thirsty again. He's rocking backwards and forwards. Oh, I can see the blue liquid coming up. The blue liquid's coming up. What is going on? Whoa, look at that, drinks the water again. The question is, is he really drinking the water? Mm, yes and no. Let's have a little look. Basically, he's a sealed glass unit. There's a glass bulb at this end, and there's a glass bulb at this end, but this glass bulb is connected to a glass tube that goes down almost to the bottom of this glass bulb here. There's a tiny little gap there. And what happens is, if I take my fingers and warm up the air here, that air actually expands. So I'm going to warm up the air above that liquid, and when the air heats up inside there, it expands and it pushes that liquid down. It pushes that liquid down, and because it's getting pushed down, it can go up, 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 up through that tube, and so it's heading it's heading to the glass bulb at the top. And so its, it's weight is shifted towards its head. That's what actually causes it to tip forward. It tips forward when the liquid goes up and the mass goes up into its head. So it's not because the liquid is heating, it's because I can actually heat this glass bulb here. When we do it like this, notice I am not, I am not heating up the air with my fingers, but it's still rising. How come it rises? How come that liquid rises in the tube? Well, it's called the evaporation effect. That red on his, that red that forms his head is not just paint. It's actually like a felt. It's a very porous material. And have you ever put your finger in some water and blown it? You can actually feel your finger get cold. That's called the evaporation effect. And that's why I'm doing this video outside because there's a nice bit of wind around today and the wind is rushing by his head, because his head is wet, it actually causes his head to cool down. And so because his head cools down, the air contracts in his head. And so that actually causes the air contracts in his head, allowing the liquid to travel up to his head. And then when it's up to his head, what actually happens when he goes at a, at a, at a shallow angle are you ready? It will go at a shallow angle in a tick. When it goes at a shallow angle, the liquid can actually then run back down to the bottom. He'll still work without the glass. You watch. Are you ready? He'll still work without the glass. Look at this. Ha ha! Tricked him! <laughs> but not for long. Why won't he keep working? Because eventually that water in his head dries out. And so we actually need to have the water there so that it can actually replace the moisture on the felt on his head. Is there a way to speed up the drinking bird? Absolutely. <laughs> I'm gonna trick him. Instead of having water in the glass, I'm gonna put some methylated spirits. So let's get rid of the water. Woohoo! <laughs> and let's put in the methylated spirits. And I'm gonna give him a good, good dose of methylated spirits on his head. There we go. All right, now let's have a look. Let's see whether the speed changes. What do you think? What a, what a difference. Why is that? Well, have you ever gotten methylated spirits and put it on your finger and blown it? It's a lot cooler. The evaporation effect is much more intense. And so, it, it barely needs to swing at all for that liquid to go up to the top. So the drinking bird relies on evaporative cooling, pressure differentiations, the changing of the center of gravity, torques due to forces times distances. Wow, it is chock-a-block full of science. Thanks for helping me today, drinking bird. So actually, this, one, this one's not drinking the water. This one's drinking the alcohol. Oh, look, he's drinking the alcohol. Thanks so much for joining me today with this incredible drinking bird of science in the Australian bush. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. I hope it's helped you a little bit. And 
I'm sure I'll be catching you around soon. All right, bye for now.